Here's the Keegan Colsar boarding on Matthias Eckholm. It was called a major penalty, and I agree completely. Look at Colsar right now. Stick on the ice in one hand, knees bent, gets into a glide. Now, if he'd have left his stick down, this probably never would have happened. But boom, it goes up in two hands. All he's doing now is looking for contact. He's not trying to make any play on that puck. He's looking for contact. And right now, he can see Eckholm's left shoulder. So he's got a shot at his right shoulder hitting Eckholm's left shoulder. But he still needs to figure out what Eckholm's going to do with that puck. Is he going to go forehand or backhand? And either way, as a left-handed shot, there's a very good chance that his back is going to be exposed no matter what he does. And sure enough, that's exactly what happens. It's not an unpredictable action. It's not a sudden turn. It's exactly what Ekholm has to do to make a play on this puck as a left-handed shot. Kolsar has nothing to hit now. He sees numbers. If he has a stick on the ice looking for the puck, it's just a nice poke check and maybe a little bit of a pin. But he's all in on body. You can tell the way he's going. He's got two hands up on his stick and he's ready to force. Even though he sees nothing but numbers the whole time, he's looking to hit. What's he hoping? That Ekholm's going to open up? There's not a chance that's going to happen at this time. But he goes straight through and drives out and pushes the head down into the boards. Absolutely avoidable. Absolutely his fault. Everything about it. Even right now, there's a very low probability of a chance at a true body check here. You can go for a pin, you can go for a light rub, but for a true, full body check, there's very, very slim hope at this point. And especially, as soon as that calm turns like this, he should have seen it coming, but instead, he turns right into it and doubles down. We can blame that calm all we want for bending over, but there should not be this much force on his back right now at all. That is all on Colsar. All the signs were there. And he should have avoided it. Again, if Colsar had one hand on his stick, stick on the ice, trying to make a stab at that puck, this never happens. Being that committed to contact in a situation where it's extremely dangerous, you can blame Ekholm all you want for turning his back, but Colsar has to be just as careful at distance from the boards. Because there's absolutely no thought of the puck, this is a non-hockey play that isn't malicious, putting it in my 3-5 to five game suspension category. Tough call would suspend Keegan Colstar of the Vegas Golden Knights four games for boarding.